SpaceX has provided a shocking new launch update for the Starship that could delay their plans for an orbital test flight of the craft. The Starship has been long overdue to perform an orbital test flight, but constant design changes and production delays have put it behind schedule. Let's take a closer look at this latest update and how it may affect the Starship's future. The future of space travel has arrived, and it's called SpaceX Starship. This incredible machine is set to revolutionize the way we explore the final frontier. SpaceX was founded by Elon Musk in 2002, with the goal of reducing the cost of space transportation and making space accessible to everyone. Over the years, SpaceX has achieved many milestones, including becoming the first privately funded company to send a spacecraft to the International Space Station and the first company to reuse a rocket. With the Starship program, SpaceX is taking its vision one step further. The Starship is the next step in SpaceX's journey to make space travel a reality for everyone. The spacecraft has been designed from the ground up with the goal of making space travel affordable and accessible to all. The Starship is the key to unlocking the final frontier and making space travel a common occurrence. The Starship is a reusable spacecraft that has been designed to carry both cargo and people to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. The spacecraft is made up of two main components, the Super Heavy Rocket Booster and the Starship spacecraft. The Super Heavy Rocket Booster is responsible for providing the initial thrust to escape Earth's gravity, and then the Starship takes over to carry out the rest of the mission. The ship is designed to be fully reusable, which means that it can be used multiple times, reducing the cost of space travel significantly. This makes it possible for us to explore the final frontier like never before. However, new reports state that SpaceX may have put its plans on hold for now. Recent tests for the Starship have landed the company in hot water with the FAA. Various prototypes of the vehicle have conducted static fire tests over the years, yielding a ton of data that has made improvements to the craft's design. In one instance, SpaceX fired up the engines of its latest Starship prototype in a dramatic test that also set some of the surrounding landscape ablaze. All six of the Raptor engines on the vehicle blazed briefly at Starbase, the company's South Texas facility. The static fire test marked another step toward launch for the Starship, which is slated to conduct the program's first ever orbital test flight in the coming months. The static fire test lasted just a few seconds, but flames burned at Starbase for a while afterward. The test sparked a grass fire that brought the local fire department out as a safety precaution. Regulation remains a big uncertainty as Starship awaits its chance to make an orbital flight test. If all goes according to plan, the spaceship will make a round-the-world trip to splash down off the coast of Hawaii after 90 minutes, while the first stage of the Super Heavy rocket should return to Earth six minutes after launch in the Gulf of Mexico. However, the FAA has undertaken an environmental assessment of the Starship's mission, which delayed SpaceX's plans to attempt the flight. Even after the assessment is finished, there could be more certifications to consider. SpaceX's desire to fly an orbital mission with Starship prompted a lengthy environmental review by the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, and there are still several things to finish up. The FAA review, called a Programmatic Environmental Assessment, examined Starship activities at Starbase. The FAA concluded the assessment in June, following numerous delays from late 2021 due to the need to consult with other agencies and deal with public comments. The FAA said that SpaceX needs to take 75 actions to reduce its environmental impact on the area. Despite SpaceX founder Elon Musk saying several times that Starship would be ready to go orbital soon, Musk recently said the target was November, it seems that SpaceX isn't quite finished with those FAA action items, which could land the company in hot water with the authorities. It seems like the FAA has finally run out of patience with SpaceX and announced a hefty fine against the company. SpaceX is looking at a proposed fine of $175,000 from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration after the launch company failed to submit the necessary info about the spacecraft's trajectory and potential collision analysis data within the requisite period. The FAA said it requires SpaceX to provide that data at least a week before a launch occurs. The launch in question was specifically a flight of 53 of SpaceX's own Starlink Internet satellites loaded onto a Falcon 9 rocket, which took off on August 19, 2022, from Cape Canaveral in Florida. The dollar amount of the fine is shy of the max civil penalty for this kind of infraction, which tops out at $262,666. 
The lower amount sought by the agency is due to what it determined was the nature of the incident after investigating the specifics. SpaceX now has 30 days to respond to the notice, which is the next step in the process once a proposed fine has been issued and the max possible penalty has been set. Note that, at this stage, SpaceX technically doesn't owe the FAA anything. That comes after SpaceX makes its case and the FAA evaluates its fine proposal in light of any info they share and determines a final, actual fine to issue. From the day it was first announced, the Starship program has remained shrouded in mystery. While recent tests have allowed us to observe the vehicle itself, what the final design will look like remains largely unknown. The Starship has a unique design that sets it apart from any other spacecraft ever built. Its stainless steel skin provides thermal protection, making it ideal for deep space missions. Additionally, the Starship has a parachute system that enables it to land safely back on Earth, even in rough conditions. The parachute system slows the spacecraft down during descent, reducing the impact of landing, and making the Starship one of the safest spacecraft ever built. The Starship is powered by a cluster of Raptor engines, which are some of the most powerful engines ever built. The engines use a combination of liquid methane and liquid oxygen as the propellant, which provides a high performance and reliable source of propulsion. The use of liquid methane also makes the engines environmentally friendly, reducing the carbon footprint of space travel. The vehicle has a unique fuel system that is both efficient and environmentally friendly. Unlike traditional spacecraft that use toxic fuels, the Starship uses a closed-loop fuel system that recycles the fuel and minimizes waste. This makes it ideal for long missions, as it reduces the need to carry waste. This system reduces the need for frequent refueling and enables the Starship to carry out long-duration missions with minimal interruption. The craft also comes equipped with a revolutionary landing system that allows it to land vertically without the need for a runway. This system makes it possible for the Starship to land on a variety of surfaces, including the Moon, Mars, and other celestial bodies. The landing system has been designed to be highly precise and autonomous, which reduces the need for human intervention and increases the safety of the mission. With the development of the Starship, SpaceX has opened up a new world of possibilities for space travel. The Starship has the potential to make deep space missions more accessible and affordable, paving the way for the colonization of other planets. The future of space travel is bright, and the Starship is at the forefront of this new era. With its powerful engines, efficient fuel system, and revolutionary landing system, the Starship is set to revolutionize the way we explore the final frontier. Whether it's a mission to the moon, Mars, or beyond, the Starship is ready to take us there. But that's not the only reason SpaceX has developed the Starship, though. Behind the scenes, SpaceX has a secret plan for the Starship, a plan that will take space travel to a whole new level. The secret plan has been in the works for years, and it's a closely guarded secret, but today, we can finally reveal what it is. The secret plan is to use the Starship as a platform for space tourism. The Starship has the ability to carry up to 100 passengers to the Moon, Mars, and beyond, giving people the opportunity to experience space travel in a whole new way. With its comfortable cabin and advanced life support systems, the Starship is the perfect vehicle for space tourism. And with its powerful engines and efficient fuel system, it can carry out long-duration missions with minimal interruption. Space tourism is a relatively new concept and has only become possible in recent years due to advancements in technology. In the past, only astronauts and professional space travelers had the opportunity to experience the thrill of space travel. But now, with companies like SpaceX offering private missions to space, the dream of space travel is becoming a reality for more and more people. Space tourism offers many benefits, both for the individual traveler and for society as a whole. For the individual, it offers a chance to experience a once-in-a-lifetime adventure and the opportunity to see our planet from a completely new perspective. For society, it provides a new source of revenue and jobs and helps to advance the field of space exploration. While being able to travel to space is an interesting prospect, it's not without its challenges. For one, it's an extremely expensive endeavor, with private missions costing millions of dollars. In addition, there are still many technical and safety concerns that need to be addressed, such as the effects of long-term exposure to zero gravity on the human body. While space tourism is expected to be a big part of the Starship's future, the craft is needed for several groundbreaking scientific missions. The first of these is the Artemis mission, which aims to land humans on the moon for the first time since the conclusion of the Apollo program. 
The plan is to accomplish this by the end of this decade. After a successful splashdown of the Orion spacecraft in the Pacific Ocean, NASA Administrator and former Senator Bill Nelson shared that his agency plans to go to Mars by the end of 2030. Senator Nelson struck an upbeat tone after NASA had a great Artemis One mission, and the remarks were made during a post-splashdown press conference in which he also shared details for SpaceX's Starship Lunar Lander. The event was attended by several agency officials, including Michael Serafin, NASA's Artemis One mission manager, who shared his final thoughts on Orion's performance as it entered the Earth at breakneck speeds for a successful landing. Throughout its journey to the moon and back, Orion performed better than NASA engineers had initially expected. The spacecraft's power generation, done through solar panels, generated more power than expected. As part of the mission, NASA added additional test objectives to stress the vehicle and learn more about its performance for future missions. The next Artemis mission will involve a crew, and not only will NASA use the data for the next mission, but it will also make changes to the ship. Administrator Nelson also shared crucial details about SpaceX's Starship Lunar Lander. This is currently the only vehicle that has been chosen by NASA to land humans on the moon as part of the Artemis program. He announced that SpaceX plans to do an uncrewed landing in 2023 and then do a crewed landing in late 2024. While delays are possible due to the Starship being a brand new concept, all signs point towards the craft being ready in time. If you like this video, you may also be interested in this one, which talks about SpaceX's brilliant upgrade on Starship for 33 engines orbital flight. Do you think SpaceX will get clearance from the FAA? Please share your thoughts in the comment section below.